Meet Hernam Kaur, the Guinness World Record holder for the youngest female with a full beard. Born and raised in the UK, Hernam started growing facial hair at around 11 years old due to a severe case of polycystic ovarian syndrome. About 10% of people with ovaries have polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's a hormone disorder that causes ovarian cysts. It leads to high levels of male hormones in the body which can trigger unwanted hair growth. Despite being constantly bullied as a teen, Hernam learned to love her body and has become a world-famous speaker on the topics of diversity and self-esteem. People will find inspiration in you just by you accepting your flaws or accepting something that's different about you and actually rocking it and feeling liberated by it. Hernam is just one of the many incredible women on this list who prove that if you believe in yourself, you can do amazing things no matter what you look like. This is Your Body On the most unique women in the world. Melanie Gaydos is another woman who hasn't let her setbacks get in the way of her career. This American high fashion model from Connecticut was born with a genetic condition called ectodermal dysplasia, an umbrella term for more than 100 genetic disorders that range in symptoms and severity. Melanie has no teeth or hair and is legally blind from her lashes growing inward and scratching her corneas. She also has hearing issues from abnormal ear bone development. But that didn't mean she didn't have any creative vision. Growing up in an artistic family, she learned to embrace her unique look and began to dabble in modeling while attending the Pratt Art Institute in New York City. Melanie got her first big break after she wrote a fan letter to Spanish photographer Eugenio Recuenco, who invited her to star in a music video for German metal band Rammstein. Since then, she's become a muse for haute couture designer Ashley Rose and even has an eyeshadow named after her by makeup mogul Kat Von D. I don't really care if the fashion world likes me or not. <laughs> and I think uh, everybody should really celebrate just who we are and everything that we embrace in life. Next up is Winnie Harlow, the Jamaican-Canadian model and spokesperson. Winnie has an autoimmune skin condition known as vitiligo, where your immune cells mistake melanocytes, pigment-producing skin cells, for invaders and begin attacking them. This leads to the skin losing its natural pigment, resulting in patches of white skin. Only 0.5 to 2% of the world's population has the condition and thankfully it doesn't pose any severe health threats, except for a higher risk of sunburn. Growing up in Canada, Winnie dealt with constant bullying and switched schools multiple times. She eventually dropped out at the age of 16. But fate had more in store for her. After an interview about her condition went viral, Winnie was encouraged to put herself out there on Instagram. And in 2014, Winnie's Insta was noticed by supermodel Tyra Banks, who invited her to participate in America's Next Top Model. I found you. Really? I saw you on social media. I've actually never seen vitiligo that way. Yeah, neither have I. It's like symmetrical, like, fantasticness. While she didn't win the title, her appearance on the hit reality series still shot her to stardom, landing her modeling work for brands like Desigual, Diesel, Cosmopolitan, and more. She now shares her story at public speaking events. Be your own person. Know for yourself what beauty is rather than looking to a magazine or to even me for what beauty is. Know within your heart and make your own mold for what beauty is. Meet Katen Stickles, the model and influencer who describes herself as a red-winged cat-eye butterfly. Kate was born with cat eye syndrome, a rare genetic condition that affects 1 in 150,000 people. People with this syndrome have four pairs of chromosome 22 instead of the usual two. This can lead to symptoms like slit pupils due to missing eye tissue, wide set eyes, a cleft palate, and kidney problems. Despite her differences, Kaden bravely embraced her look and passion for art in early life. Bullying didn't faze her. She quickly gained a sizable 40,000 followers on Instagram, which piqued the interest of famous photographer Nick Knight. The photo shoot they did together brought Katen international acclaim and jump-started her career in modeling. It's okay to be scared, it's okay to take a risk. As long as you love yourself and respect yourself, 
You're doing you, and there's only one you. And last on our list are not one, but two incredible women joined at the torso. Meet Abby and Brittany Hensel, the dynamic duo from Minnesota. As conjoined twins, they're a rarity. Only about one in 200,000 live births result in conjoined twins, and Abby and Brittany were one of them. They're known as dicephalic parapagus twins, meaning they share one torso between two bodies. Their chance of making it to adulthood was a slim 7.5%, but they've prevailed against all odds. The two women share vital organs like the liver, intestines, and bladder, making separation surgery an unsurvivable impossibility. Abby and Brittany came into the national spotlight when they appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1996. But their real claim to fame came years later when they landed their own series on TLC, showcasing their day-to-day -day struggles as teenagers. Like passing a driver's test twice so that they could each get their own separate driving licenses and other things that non-conjoined folk take for granted. Believe me, we are totally different people. Abby is more into like, pink and girly and preppy and Brittany's more not into pink. The twins went to Bethel University in Minnesota for a Bachelor of Arts and graduated in 2012. Now, at 33 years old, Abby and Brittany teach math to their hometown's 4th and 5th graders at Sunnyside Elementary School. We hope you found this list inspiring. No matter what you look like, you can achieve great things if you put your mind to it. Especially if you turn your differences into superpowers. Speaking of which, do real-life superheroes exist? We'll power up in another episode of Your Body On.